Ooh. There we go. Good morning, campers. Um, so welcome to another class. It is Sunday, so we're going to go through a nice, um, gentle morning flow just to wake up our bodies, nothing strenuous, just a nice relaxing class. So I hope you're all still well and uh, you're uh, making the most of this time in the, whatever way you can and just trying to see the positives um, in, this, uh, in this situation that we're in at the moment. Um, you know, that's all we can do, isn't it? Just find, uh, yeah, appreciate um, as best as we can in any given moment that life throws at us. So, um, so yeah, I hope you're all good. Um, we're going to begin this morning in child's pose. So let's bring our knees together, or you can have knees wide if you wish to take your wide-legged child's pose. Coming forward, bringing your forehead onto the mat. And as always, you can reach the hands forward, or if you have the knees together, maybe you're bringing the arms behind. And just closing our eyes here. Just allowing yourself to ground. And just seeing if you can relax completely. Just allowing the body to be where it is. Now well, let's check in with ourselves to so notice how we're feeling right now. Just notice how the mind is. Usually the mind is more still in the morning. This is why well, it's a good, uh, good time to practice yoga. It's first thing in the morning. And then the, uh, the mind's a little bit more still, more quiet. Maybe you've woken up with a lot on your mind this morning and that's okay. You know, we're just acknowledging that. Notice if there are any emotions coming through right now as well. And let's uh, bring our awareness to our breath. Just noticing the breath as it is. And let's start to breathe a little bit more deeply now. Maybe focus in on drawing that breath all the way down into the abdomen. It's 
And now see if you can breathe between the shoulder blades. Can you breathe into the left side of your ribs now? Feel those ribs expand. Can you breathe into the right side of the ribs? Can you breathe into the heart space? Now a full three-dimensional breath. And as always, just try to keep the breath controlled now. Maybe you're activating an ujjayi breath as you start to breathe with sound. And remembering as long as we have control of the breath, as long as we have awareness in the present moment, we're practicing yoga. So we could stay here for 30 minutes if we wish, just focusing on the breath and focusing on any uh, thing we feel in the body. And this would be yoga. Sometimes we don't need to do back bends and handstands. Sometimes we just need to allow ourselves to be. So keeping that breath nice and deep, nice and slow. We're going to bring the arms forward if you have those arms back in your child's pose. Just reaching forward, spreading the fingers. And as we inhale, let's lift up onto the knees. So we're coming into a little tabletop position and then pressing the heart forward, dropping the navel, lifting the hips as we come into a cow pose. And then as we exhale, let's lower it back down into our child's. Inhale, coming up, send the heart forward, exhale, rounding the back and sitting back on the heels. Inhale, moving forward, exhale, coming back. And again, now your opportunity to move a little bit more quickly or more slowly if you need to, just to stay with your own breath. And with every inhale, maybe working a little bit deeper into that spine. And as I said, the mind is a lot quieter in the morning for your morning practice. But sometimes the body can feel a lot more uh, stiff or tight. It might take a little bit longer to warm up if you're practicing in the morning. And again, yoga is just about noticing those differences, noticing how different the body feels every time you come to the mat. So 
So we're going to have to run next. Inhale. We're just going to come back to a neutral spine, but in our tabletop position. Let's take those knees to hips width apart now. And just check that those fingers are spread, the shoulders are over the wrists, and we're wrapping those triceps under a little bit here. So let's stay here a moment. Let's find strength through the core. So get a little tuck to the tailbone. Draw the navel to the spine. Squeeze the pelvic floor. Take your focus into that abdominal area. And just really focus on hugging those muscles in towards the spine, towards the ribs, towards the pelvis. Can you feel that engagement? Again, if you're doing this right, you should still feel like you're working. There's work going on here, although we're still Keeping that neutral spine. Let's take an inhale. As we exhale, side flexion. So let's try to bring the left elbow, left hip towards each other. Maybe looking back towards that left foot. Inhale, coming back through center. And exhale, over to the other side. Inhale through center. Exhale to the left. Inhale through center. Exhale to the right. And again, keep going to the rhythm of your own breath. Trying to move a little bit deeper with every exhale. Again, not taking it too far. Listen to your body. And as you're moving, again, just not noticing, just witnessing where the work is. Just check that you haven't let go of that core, that navel is still drawing in towards the spine. Inhale, come back to center. Let's bring the knees together. We'll sit back onto the heels, bring hands onto the lap. Let's close the eyes. And soften the shoulders. Inhale. And as we exhale, just start to drop the left ear over towards the left shoulder. Again, nothing too crazy. Inhale, come back through center. And exhale over to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale to the left. And keep dropping those shoulders down. Inhale through center. Exhale to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale, we're going to come to a 45 degree angle. So drop the head forward and to the left. Inhale back to center. Exhale forward and to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale forward and to the left. Inhale through center. Forward and to the right. Inhale through center. And exhale. Let's just start to make some rainbow movements now. The chin comes all the way down to the chest. Through to the right shoulder. And up. And repeating all the way down to the chest. Over to the left shoulder. Do this. One more round each side. Okay, 
And our chin comes back to the chest. Let's hold the chin to the chest. Maybe you want to add a little bit of pressure to the back of the head. If it feels good. Maybe you're feeling really, really tight. I remember being a child and noticing when I woke up in the morning when I did this, it used to really cause me some pain in my back. Like electric shocks. Maybe you're feeling that. It seemed to stop at some point in my life. I remember being a kid and that always happened. <laughs> and releasing the head, if you took the hands behind the head, let's inhale and let's lift the gaze up. Again, just checking those shoulders are away from the ears. Soften the face. So even though we're looking up, try to keep the forehead soft. Let's interlace fingers, bring the head back to center and inhale. Let's reach. Find some extension through your spine. And let's take a lean out to the right. So release that right hand to the mat. Then reach over with the left hand. At the same time, press the hips left. So you're feeling that nice stretch all the way from the hips. Maybe you could feel it even below the hips into the outer glutes. Inhale, come through center, and we'll switch right arm up, left hand down, and hips move to the right now. And breathing nice and deeply into that side body. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, let's interlace fingers behind the back. Inhale, open the chest up. You're going to stretch in the chest and work in into our shoulder extension here. Just lifting those hands up behind you. Okay, nothing crazy. Option to keep the, uh, the chin parallel to the mat. Option to drop the head back and go for another neck stretch at the same time. So here you should feel it working all the way up the throat. And bring the head back to center, release the hands. Let's take the hands forward and we'll find our tabletop position again. So then check in those banders, the navel is in. Let's send that right foot back. Pressing the ball of the right foot onto the mat. Just pressing back through that right heel. And let's switch the legs. Left foot reaches back now. And pressing back. Through that left heel, it should just feel a nice release to the back of the leg. And start to feel the quadricep working as well. So just waking up those legs. And switching, left knee down, right foot back again. Option to keep pressing back through that heel. Option to see if you can lift that left knee up. Round through the spine a little bit, bring that left thigh in, and just to work the core a little bit more. As you do this, just check that that right heel doesn't start to lift too much, press back through that heel, so you're working that leg. Drop the left knee down if you lifted, and we'll bring the right knee back to the mat. Send that left foot out again, and press back through that heel, option, to lift that right thigh. And again, you're working into the shoulders as well, a little bit more here. And 
And then lower that right knee back down if you took it out. And drop the left knee. Let's reach back with that right foot again. This time we're on a pointed job. And lift that right foot off the mat. So again, just checking that uh, we're still nice and strong in that core that we haven't started to dip into the lower back here. So we're still strong in the arms. Inhale. Exhale, slowly tap the foot down. Inhale, lift the foot back up. Exhale, slowly tap. Again, just check in. The upper body isn't moving at all. From the hips up, everything is still. Lowering the foot down. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, lower it down. And now we're going to do some sweeps. So we're going to just draw that right foot over to the left as much as you can. Inhale, come back through center. And exhale, nice and wide as you bring that right foot all the way around as far forward as you can. Inhale to take it back. Exhale to bring it around to the left. Inhale, bring it back. Exhale, moving it forward. Inhale back. Exhale to the left. Inhale back. Exhale forward. This time, we're going to plant the foot down. It's about in line with the right hip. Option to stay here. Option to drop to the elbows. Or option to come into a little puppy pose. Sending the hands forward. And just stretching to that inner thigh. And at the same time, working into the upper back. You see if you can tuck your tailbone under a little bit here. Notice how the work changes. Lift the gaze. Walk the hands back towards your back, underneath those shoulders. We'll inhale, send that right foot back. Let's hover that right foot off the mat a little bit longer. Option to take your balancing table here. Left arm reaches forward. Again, bring your more awareness now to the core. Can you tuck the tailbone under a little bit more? Can you find a little bit more work there? Inhale, exhale, hand and knee back to the mat. Let's do the same on the other side. Feel free to sit back, have a little uh, shake of the wrists. And send that left foot back, point the toe, Lift the leg. Again, go to that core. And check it's switched on. Inhale. Exhale, lower the foot down, tap. Nice and slowly. Inhale, lifting it up. Again, just checking all the work is coming from that glute and from that leg. Exhale to lower down. Inhale to lift up. Exhale to lower down. Inhale to lift up. We squeeze, squeeze, squeeze that left glute. Exhale to lower down. And we're going to do those sweeps again. Inhale. Exhale, sweep the foot over to the right. Maybe looking back if you want towards that left foot. Inhale, coming around. And exhale, bring it all the way up. Or as far as you can. You're just working into our hip mobility, our hip strength and flexibility. Inhale to bring it through, exhale to bring it up. And it doesn't matter how far you can bring that foot up. Just keep the foot low so you're grazing the floor. The last one.
And this one, we're going to stop the foot at about hips. Uh, in line with the hip, uh, bringing the uh, left foot onto the mat. And again, option one is just to be here, just stretching into the hips. Again, work on that hip tilt, tuck the tailbone under. Your option two, two is to drop for the elbows. If you're going well, your option three is to come into that puppy. And have a play around. In all the postures in yoga, remember sometimes just little movements in your body can help you work a little bit better into the posture. Help find where it feels good for you. You want to feel work. So if something feels too easy. So in this pose, if the chest is on the mat, then I would say just try to find strength through the shoulders a little bit. Tuck the tailbone under, press hands into the mat and resist that chest coming down. If the chest is on the mat, there's no work. Everything's floppy. And lifting the gaze, let's hold the hands back towards us. We'll slam that left foot back. And let's lift it up. Option to keep that toe pointed, option to flex the ankle now if you wish. And option to find your balancing table, the right arm forward. Okay, just check on that core. And keep breathing nice and deeply. And exhale, hand and knee back onto the mat. Let's sit back on the heels. Let's bring hands onto the knees. Close the eyes. Nice and tall in the spine. So just check that you aren't hyper arched in the lower back here. And just bring your awareness to the breath again. To how the body feels. Maybe you could feel a little bit more heat in the shoulders, the upper back. Maybe you can feel more heat in the legs, the glutes. And let's gently open the eyes. Let's bring hands back onto the mat. We'll tuck toes under, send our hips back and up. And find our downward facing dog. So hopefully the legs feel a little bit looser than they usually would when you come into your downward dog as you've given them a stretch, but feel free to walk the heels out. And as always, just connecting how that body feels. Maybe you can feel some tension in an area of your body this morning. And let's walk the hands towards the feet. And we'll take a forward fold. So feet hips with the part, bend the knees as much as you need to. And just folding forward, just make sure that neck is nice and relaxed. Option to take opposite elbows, coming into your rag doll to find stillness or sway from side to side, a little bit of movement. And keep that navel drawn in towards the spine.
And releasing hands to the mat. You can sit on the bend. If the legs are straight, we're going to roll all the way up. Just standing. And let's roll the shoulders back. So keeping those feet hips width apart. Let's inhale, reach up through the fingertips. And exhale, take the arms wide as you lower them down. Inhale, raise the arms again. Finding space and opening in the body. And exhale to bring them down. Inhale, root through those feet. Find strength through the legs. Think you're like a tree. Your trunk is nice and strong as you reach. And exhale, lowering down. And try to imagine there's resistance under the palms as you're pressing those hands down. That'll create strength in the upper arm, strength in the shoulders. Inhale, reach. You can now imagine you're lifting weights as you lift those arms up. Find that resistance. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale, lifting. You can find that strength through the legs. Find strength through the core again. Navel is in. Exhale. In just the most simplest movements, we can create work. Inhale. Squeeze your glutes. Exhale, lower. Inhale. And exhale, release. We're going to bend that right elbow. Take hold of the right elbow with the left hand and just work into our shoulder here. So we want uh, the lower arm parallel with the mat. And just moving the elbow towards the center line of the body. As you're here, just have a scan of your body. Just check that there's still work going on in the legs. They're strong. You're not just standing here like chewing gum. There's strength, there's strength in the body. And again, just notice how that right shoulder feels. Release, inhale, send those arms high. And exhale, let's switch to the other side. Bend the left elbow, take hold of the elbow and just draw it towards center line. And again, you've got that upper, uh, the lower limb parallel with the mat. And maybe one side feels a little bit different to the other side. Okay, just notice that. Maybe you naturally start to, to curve into the lower back. Okay, notice that. Pull everything back in. That's something I always have to be careful of. I think I have a natural anterior pelvic tilt, meaning my, my hips tip forward uh, naturally, so I have to I have to work really, really hard in training that tailbone to pull under. And release, inhale, raise the arms. Exhale, let's take the arms out in front this time. Bring the right hand across the body and hook the left arm around the upper arm of the right arm. Oh, I've got lots of arms there. Just a nice shoulder stretch. Just see if you can relax. Draw that right shoulder down. And again, have you lost the work in the legs? Have you lost the work in the core? Can you find the calves in the lower legs? Can you engage them? Spread your toes. Drive all toes, all four corners of your feet into your mat. And this is just a, a, kind of a good exercise, especially when it's just a simple thing like this. We lose focus in yoga. Sometimes when we're working a particular part of the body, we, we forget what the rest of the body's doing. 
And this is a nice way to just bring that awareness to the body in its entirety. Let's work those arms forward, inhale. And exhale, left arm across the body, hook right arm underneath left. Soften that left shoulder. And breathe in, scanning body. Maybe your head is uh, leaning over to one side. Again, find the strength through the neck. Always trying to find length in the spine. We'll stay here a couple more breaths. And release, inhale, raise in the arms. Exhale, we're gonna take the hands behind the back. So we have some options. We can take hold of opposite elbows. So this is your option one. If you can't even get to the elbows, no worries. You're just gonna interlace fingers behind the back. If it's available, and again, it's first thing in the morning, so maybe it doesn't feel so great, we're gonna bring our hands into our reverse prayer. So bring in the palms together, into the back and then pull the elbows towards each other. So opening through the upper back. So if this is too much and maybe you're gonna feel this in your wrists more than anything. So if this is too much in the wrist, just go to one of the previous variations. So just taking hold of the elbows is fine. So the feet are hips width apart still. If you're on uh, if you're at the front of the mat, just step back slightly. We're just gonna step the right foot forward to find a little variation of our pyramid posture. So both feet facing the top of the mat, maybe you're gonna pivot on that back heel, turn that foot out slightly, but just check that the hips and the chest are nice and square to the top of the mat. Option one is to stay here. Option two, we're just gonna to start to lean forward. As you lean forward, you're gonna to try to keep that back nice and straight and keep pulling that right hip back. So you feel the work in the back of that right leg. Stop when your body says stop. And maybe today that's here. Maybe it's here. Maybe you can already feel that stretch in the legs here. And you're just going to hold. If you have your hands in reverse prayer, just keep encouraging the heels of the hands together. And breathe. Okay, just check that navel is in. Inhale, coming up, and exhale, let's step that right foot back to the back of the mat. Let's release the arms, give the arms a wiggle, and shake them out. I'm gonna repeat the same on the left side. So again, let's take those arms back up into reverse prayer, or again, you're taking a variation, whatever feels good in your body. In your reverse prayer, the work towards is to get the, arm, the hands in, in between the shoulder blades and the upper back. And it can take a long time to get there, but that's the word towards. If you feel that the elbows are coming forward and the palms are away from each other, pull the elbows back. And that should bring the heels of the hands together. Again, if it's too much in the wrist, just go to a previous uh, variation. Step that left foot forward now. And turn that right foot out slightly, if you wish, and draw the hips and the chest to the top of the mat and start to fold. And again, just be mindful that that abdomen is engaged, navel is drawing back towards the spine, and that hip doesn't start to stick out. You, the upper body doesn't start to move out to the right. If that happens, don't move any deeper. Stay there. And you're just releasing the back of the legs. And the standing postures in uh, the yoga practice, they help build stability around the joints of the legs. So we want engagement here as well. We want nice strong legs, strong muscles. So think of uh, lifting your kneecaps with your quadriceps. And again, still, it's a still movement. It's a, you know, finding stillness here, but the strength, there's so much going on, so much being built in the body. 
and inhale, coming up, stepping back to the back of the mat, releasing those arms. Let's interlace the fingers and send the hands away. So back of the hands towards you, palms of the hands pressing away. Inhale, let's reach those arms high. And finding that length through the spine. Finding opening through the shoulders. And exhale, releasing. Let's come into a little balance. A little balance. Nothing crazy. If you've been trying to balance in another class and you want to go a little bit stronger this morning, if you have it in you, you can try it. Uh, any balance that you want that makes you feel good in your body. Otherwise, we're just going to try a simple tree pose or tree pose variation. So, option one, as always, start with the right side. So, coming onto the ball of the right foot. Maybe you're just bringing the, the right heel, the foot to the ankle. And maybe this is your tree pose this morning. Otherwise, you're going to start to move that foot up the leg, and maybe it's coming to the inner calf and you're just working that right knee out to the side if you're going well the foot comes to that inner left thigh and again the knee points out to the side maybe bringing hands heart center and maybe just staying here whatever variation feels good for you again think of the work of the body everything that we've just done that left leg is nice and strong the spine is low, the tailbone is pulling down, the shoulders are relaxed, the neck is low. If you're going well, maybe we're going to open our tree and find our branches. So raising those arms and opening up, maybe finding chin mudra, tips of the forefinger and thumb touching. Again, you can be in whatever balance that feels good for you. Just gaze to a fixed point ahead just to help keep your balance. And let's see if we can sway in our tree, if it helps sway our tree, sway our branches, if you're going well. The subtle movements just to test our balance a little bit more. Inhale, we'll bring hands back together. Exhale, hands heart center. Release foot from the leg, bring the knee forward and plant it down. Good, other side. So maybe you felt that more in that left foot, which is certainly what I did this morning. That left foot was really pulsing, really giving me some grief. But again, you want to feel it in different parts of the body depending on the day, depending on the time of day. So again, it's just noticing, just witnessing. And we're going to try it on the other side, and maybe on the other side, we feel it in a slightly different uh, place as well. So ground through that right foot, spread your toes, equal weight on the ball and the heel. And again, take in whichever variation of your tree that you want to go for this morning. Or again, you're taking a different balance. Maybe you wanted to do your Utita Hasta Padangushtasana, extended hand to big toe pose. Then you can go ahead and do that. And hands in prayer, if we made it into our tree. And raise in your prayer, take an inhale and exhale. Open up, find your branches nice and tall in that spine, nice and open in the chest. Can you find space here? Can you breathe? Open the ribs, and can you find the strength in your trunk, in your tree trunk, in that right leg? Can you find strength in the glutes? Strength in the calves, the quads, strength in the core. And again, if you're going well, maybe you want to test your balance and see if you can sway in the wind. You 
Okay, just that movement, that little bit of movement makes the right leg work so much more harder. Just as the tree does. The tree becomes stronger in a wind. It needs the wind. It needs that movement. It needs to be made unstable so it can become more stable. In yoga, taking so much from nature. And teaching us so much. Now bringing hands back together, hands come towards the heart, release the foot from that leg and plant it back down. Ooh, good stuff. Let's come sideways on our mat, see if we're facing the top of the mat. And let's nice and easy just step those feet hips width apart. So about a leg's distance between the feet, like with any wide-legged forward fold. We're going to turn the toes in slightly and send the heel out. Inhale, find a little bit of length through your spine, and exhale, fold forward. And let's take hold of opposite elbow. So it's like a ragdoll, but in a wide-legged forward fold. If you find that the arms are on the mat, then just bring the feet a little bit closer together. Once so we're just going to stay here, let's just tip the weight forward into the balls of the feet. And now let's start to sway, side to side, like a pendulum. Maybe it's just a little sway in the middle. Maybe you want to take some big pendulum swings. And keeping the hips central as best as you can. We'll do a few more each side. And coming back to center, let's release hands to the mat and let's pull a little bit deeper into our forward fold. We'll get an option to keep that movement going. Maybe that little sway from side to side, that feels good. Maybe you can test the movement in the hips. So trying to tip the hips side to side. And again, that can really start to work those deep inner hip muscles. Or maybe you're just finding stillness in your forward fold. Maybe you want to take outside of the legs, maybe you want to take big toes, maybe you want to take arms wide, maybe you want to take hands through, again just your chance to explore, maybe you want to take a little twist, Yeah, what does your body need this morning? And we'll bring the hands back to the mat. Let's heel toe those feet towards each other. And let's come to a nice and easy seated position. Again, okay, face the top of your mat again and come down to seated. Good stuff. Let's work into the hips a little bit more, the outer hips. Let's bring right leg in front of the left leg. In a nice, easy seated position or variation of our double pigeon at fire log. As always, if you know you can come into full fire log, do that. I'm not going to do that this morning. My hips feel so tight, my glutes feel so tight. And as always, if you need to put some bolsters underneath your legs, if you are coming into fire log and your legs are like this, then <clears throat> put some cushions underneath or blocks underneath uh, your limbs, your knees, your 
uh, hips just to give them some support. Otherwise, we're here. And again, it can be very subtle, just tipping the hips forward, chest open, and maybe just leaning on the legs here. You can sit on a block here as well. And if you struggle to get that weight forward, And again, just soft shoulders. And inhale, exhale, moving a little bit deeper if that feels good. Maybe bring in elbows, hands onto the mat in front of you. Maybe soften the neck, just allow the head to hang. Make sure that jaw is nice and soft. We're not tensing up in the jaw. Now walking the hands around to the left. And relax the neck, relax the head. Keep pressing that right hip towards the mat. It's starting to lift. And we'll come tall. And we'll come into a twist. Right hand on that left knee, left hand behind the back. A little twist as we gaze over the shoulder. As we twist in, let's collapse. Let's see if we can soften the abdominals. Then let's see if we can move around. So it's a little bit of a rounded back as we move around into the twist. And then when we're there, now start to lengthen. Now start to grow from your roots. This is a nice... Um, uh, kind of guidance for any kind of twist. Round first, soften everything here in your abdomen, and then start to lengthen. We'll stay here a couple more breaths. Breathe nice and deeply between the shoulder blades. And inhale, come back to center. And let's switch, switch the legs. So left leg in front of the right leg now. Again, you're taking that double pigeon. If I can't get it on my right side this morning, definitely not gonna happen on my left. So, and again, taking whatever variation feels good. Oh, we're just here in a nice, simple cross-legged position. Just keep those ankles flexed. I should have said that on the other side. Just flex them a little bit, just to uh, just give some support to the knees. And maybe we're just here, just leaning on those legs. Again, send the heart forward, pull the hips back. Just notice how if we stop that rounding in the back. So if we're here with a round back, not much going on, not as much going on in the hips is when we start to lengthen the spine. So just do that in your body, flex your spine, feel the work disappear from the hips and then straighten the spine. Notice how we're not going deeper. I haven't had to force myself down. I've just lengthened my spine a little bit. And like I say, sometimes looking like you're going deep in a posture is not as beneficial as the subtle movements that can help move us into that, uh, that posture a little bit better. You can find deepness without physically being deep. And again, if we're going well, maybe you're taking those hands forward. Maybe elbows are coming onto the mat. Relaxing the head and the neck. Yeah, this doesn't feel good. If it's too intense, just stay here. Maybe just soften the neck. Just allow that head to hang. We continue to breathe those nice deep breaths. And then walking your hands over to the right now. 
Okay, and continue to relax the shoulders, the head, the neck. Keep driving the left hip towards the mat, left sit bone. And we'll spiral tall, then left hand onto that knee, right hand behind the back. Again, let's round the spine. And then find the twist. And then grow. Open the chest up, find length through the spine now. Okay, notice if that gets you a little bit deeper into your twist. Maybe round the spine again, see if you can twist a little bit further back. And then lengthen. And I had a lovely crack in my upper back then. We'll stay here a couple more breaths. And inhale, coming back to the front. And exhale. Nice and easy, making our way now into our final posture, our Shavasana. As always, if you have a blanket or a jumper close to hand or some socks, please put them on to keep that heat trapped in your body as we come to lie down. I always like to cocoon myself in my blanket. So bring in the blanket underneath my feet. Making sure my toes are nice and uh, wrapped up. And then maybe tucking the blanket under the back, keeping the lower back warm. And then taking up space with your arms. Close your eyes. Uh, just check the tension in the face, just allow it to melt away. Try to find complete stillness in your Shavasana. And as you're resting here, it's bringing your focus into the center of the chest. And just imagine that there's a glowing white light in the center of your being. With every inhale, that white light grows a little bit lighter. You're spreading a warmth and a healing throughout your body.
Feel that white light spreading throughout the torso, into your limbs, all the way to the fingertips, the toes, all the way through to the top of the head. Feel the warmth of that white light. As always, your option to stay in your Shavasana now as long as you wish. Otherwise, we're going to take a deep inhale. Exhale the breath, completely connect the navel to the spine. Inhale the breath into your heart space. And exhale the breath into the fingertips and the toes. Starting to wiggle the fingers and toes and bringing movement back to your body. Rotating wrists and ankles and moving the limbs. And bringing the feet, the legs together, taking your arms overhead for a full body stretch. Draw the knees into the chest, give yourself a squeeze. And as always, just taking a moment, thanking yourself for showing up on your mat this morning, for doing the work that your future self will thank you for, for being present, for allowing yourself this time to reconnect. And gratitude for what your body can do right now. Rock into your right hand side when you're ready. And joining me again in a comfortable seated cross legged position. Moment now, let's bring our hands into Anjali Mudra at our heart center. And let's think of one thing, just one thing that we wish out of us. So, one thing that isn't serving us. Maybe it's a negative thought, maybe it's something that's been frustrating you. Yesterday, the day before, the last week, the last month, the last year. Let's just focus on that one thing. Maybe it's something in yourself. Maybe it's nothing out there. Maybe it's just something that the way you think about yourself or, or it's a habit, a bad habit that you have. Let's recognize whatever that is wholeheartedly. Know that you no longer want that thing, whatever it is. It stops you being peaceful, prevents you from having that inner peace. Let's take a deep inhale. Exhale through the mouth and send it out. Take a deep inhale again. 
and expel that thought, that thing from the body. And again, one more inhale. And let it go, exhale. We'll finish with the sacred sound on three shanties. Peace, peace, perfect peace. Take it in here. Exhale. Inhale for all. Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu Shanti 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 Hare Raise your hands to your head for kindness in your thoughts to yourselves and to others, to your hearts for kindness in your actions and your lips for kindness in your words, from my heart to your heart, always, namaste. Thank you for practicing with me. I hope you all feel a little bit more open in your body, calm in your mind. I'm sorry for, I think it was my neighbor knocking on the door and sorted it out, but I'm sorry if you heard that coming through. Uh, it was quite a loud, quite a loud knock and at the door slamming and banging. So um, sorry about that, you guys. I hope you were uh, able to find peace in your shavasana, nevertheless. Um, sometimes noise outside uh, is a, a good test for our meditation, for our, uh, our practice of patience and uh, not allowing ourselves to get frustrated by noises that are happening. It's quite common as humans, we get frustrated by noises, annoying noises. And a uh, nice way is if you have an annoying noise, there's nothing you can do about it, be in the noise, accept it, allow it, and see if you can still find that, uh, that peace. So it might have been a good practice, uh, practice for you. Um, so yeah, I hope you all feel a little bit more open. As always, please like the video if you like the video. Please share the video with others um, or my channel. Share my channel if you think there's others that uh, that may like the videos that I put out. Um, as always, if you are financially stable, please feel free to donate. I'll add the link. Um, the link is always in the description when it goes on as a proper video so um, it won't be on the live stream but if you wanted to add, add a donation you can look up one of the other videos it's in the description so I've made it a link now so you can just click um, of course only if you're financially stable otherwise enjoy these videos for free um, I will be doing more videos as always seven o'clock in the evening Monday to Friday and um, I will be adding other classes on there so not live just other little snippets of, of things that, uh, you know, break it down postures and stuff. So look out for those. We'll get some on this week. Um, so yeah, um, enjoy your Sunday, or if you're watching this another day, enjoy your day. It's, uh, it's a lovely sunny day out there. We've been really lucky with the weather, I think, throughout this lockdown, and not complaining. So, so yeah, get out there, enjoy nature, enjoy being in the moment, and, uh, I shall see some of you tomorrow evening, seven o'clock to see some. Oh, Rosie, oh, lovely. Hi, Rosie. Um, so yeah, if, um, yeah, if, you, if you're joining me, I'll see you tomorrow. Otherwise, explore all the other videos that I have on my channel. Oh, Lindsay, thank you, Lindsay. Um, and I shall see you virtually tomorrow. Take care, love to you all. Namaste, namaste, namaste.